A doctor from Huddersfield is pioneering a new type of eye surgery in which a layer of cells, one tenth the width of human hair, is transplanted into the eye. It can help patients suffering with a specific condition that affects around one in a thousand people. It's thought that only about 20 surgeons worldwide are currently carrying out this procedure. Our health correspondent Jamie Coulson's report contains scenes of surgery. I'm just going to be shining a light in your eye to have a look at the front of your eye, the cornea. Until recently, Joan Greenwood's vision was cloudy and blurred. A condition called Fuchs corneal dystrophy meant some of the cells lining the cornea in her eye were defective. But after undergoing a new surgical procedure in Huddersfield, things are much better. I couldn't see if I was reading. I had to use a magnifying glass. And now I don't have to do. I can see now. It's marvellous. It's like having a new life. The cornea is the transparent dome-shaped surface that covers the front of the eye and is made up of a number of layers. In Joan's case, the cells on the innermost section of the cornea were failing, causing blurry vision. Now, previously, surgeons would have to transplant about 25% of the thickness of the cornea when operating, but this new procedure means it's now possible to simply replace the single layer of damaged cells. I think this is a big evolutionary step forward. Uh, we're replacing simply just the cells that need to be and in doing so we're improving visual outcomes and uh, improving patients quality of life. The double roll is carefully injected into the recipient anterior chamber. During the operation a roll of cells taken from a donor is injected into the eye. The surgeon then gently positions the graft before using a bubble of air to unroll it. That bubble is then removed before a new one is injected underneath to lift the transplant into place. It is an extremely fiddly operation, as are most eye operations. It's like anything else, it's difficult, but it's certainly very doable. Well, before I thought I was going blind, and now it's super. <laughs> Doctors say this procedure improves outcomes and reduces the risk of transplant rejection. In Huddersfield, they're soon hoping to carry out two operations a month. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North. All right, all the best. OK, bye. Goodbye. Incredible, isn't it? Before seven o'clock.